Hi, I'm Jeff Green with Labatt. We're here in the Labatt Beer Institute. I'd like to show you a little bit about proper pouring technique. Now here in this environment, I can show you very easily how to pour a proper draft beer. We'll start by showing you how to pour domestic beer. Now the first thing we're going to do is turn our glass upside down in the sprayer and give it a rinse. Now we rinse the glass for two reasons. One is to get rid of any dust or residue that might be left on the glass. And the second reason is actually to cool the glass down. Ideally we want to have a glass that's the same temperature as the beer we're about to pour in it. So we want to start with the glass at a 45 degree angle. This allows for the proper amount of foam head to develop. You want to have about two fingers or an inch of foam at the top of every glass of beer, whether it be draft or bottle. Now there are four main reasons for foam head. Number one is carbon dioxide. By pouring a proper foam head, we allow the release of carbon dioxide, which leaves us feeling less bloated at the end of a beer. The second reason is oxygen. Oxygen in the air can actually break down your beer and cause it to go stale. So a proper level of foam head at the top of your glass will protect from that oxygen and keep your beer fresher longer. The third reason is actually the taste of the beer. A proper foam head releases what's called a bouquet. All the aromatics are released into the air so you taste the beer the way it's supposed to be. And fourth, it's a matter of appearance. Who doesn't like a good looking beer? Now some beers, including Belgian beers, have a little bit more of an elaborate ritual. In front of me I have two sinks. On the left, a sink filled with cold water, low fat soap, and low sud soap. On the right, simple cold water. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wash the glass on a brush inside the sink. Now this low fat soap actually helps to preserve the foam head for longer than the ordinary soap that you would use in the dishwasher. Again, I'm washing all portions of the glass and rinsing it in the cold water next to it. We're now going to set it up on the same sprayer that we use with the domestic draft beer. Again, we're cooling the glass down all the while. This next step is called the sacrifice. We're going to allow a little bit of beer to go down the drain before we start pouring. This is just to ensure that the little bit of beer that's sitting here at the end of the tap isn't the first drop to hit our nice clean glass. Allow the foam head to develop, same way we did with the domestic beer. And then we actually remove the foam from the drips. This is called the beheading. We actually remove the large carbon bubbles from the top of the glass, which provides, again, a nice solid layer of small bubbles, ensuring that the foam stays as long as possible. We're gonna go in for one more cleansing. Now we're going to apply a drip catcher so that we don't spill water on our shirt. We always use a proper coaster and present the glass to our consumer. Now we don't have all of these tools at home, so I'm gonna show you how to pour a proper beer right in the comfort of your own kitchen. Start with a clean glass, and although you won't have a spray rinser, the principle is the same. Just run your glass under a faucet of cold water, again, helping to cleanse the glass and chill the glass down to the proper temperature. When pouring a beer out of a bottle, you want to be sure to, again, hold your glass at a 45 degree angle for your beer such that you can actually watch the foam head develop. It's going to be a little bit more agitated than you're probably used to, but again, you're allowing that carbon dioxide to be released from the beer so that you have a nice two finger foam head at the top. So the most important thing to remember is a proper amount of foam head. With this in mind, and a little bit of practice, anybody can execute the perfect pour.